How did your wife react to the news? You wanted to leave your job. She was for it, Juan. Uh, she wanted me to quit a long time ago. I was the one that was that was reluctant. Uh, my wife wanted me to quit. She was actually running Bravo while I was out there delivering mail. So she had told me about six months, maybe even a year before that I needed to quit my job and I needed to, to run Bravo full time. And uh, it was me. I was the one that was reluctant. And so I prayed about it. I prayed about it. I prayed about it. I finally got my answer. And that was it, man. Uh, I... Um, I went up to my postmaster and I told him that I was leaving um, that Friday. I think it was on a Monday that I spoke to him. And I think it was on a Tuesday or Wednesday that I spoke. To him. I mean, I left in a couple of days. That's it. I just wanted to put that behind me and just really go full throttle with Bravo. Not because uh, I hated working there. It just wasn't for me. It wasn't for me. I was a square peg in a round hole. Uh, call it what you will. It just wasn't for me, man. You know it when it's not for you. You just know it. And I knew it since day one. But the reason I stayed there is because everybody was telling me, no, man, that's a great job. You need to keep it. That's where I would want to be. You're lucky. You got a great job. It's got good benefits and all. And that's great. And that's true. Uh, but that just wasn't for me. You know, my parents buy a little, go to college, buy a little house, uh, get married, and then buy a little plot of land. And then when you ever need money, you can just sell that little plot of land. And that's fine. A lot of people do that. And that's good. I'm not, I think that's, I think that's sound advice to a certain extent. To me, that just doesn't add up. It doesn't make sense. Like, why stop there? Why just one plot of land? Why can't you buy five? Well, because it's too expensive to buy five. Yeah, but that guy's buying five. And that guy bought five. That guy bought 10. So if he can buy 10, why can't I buy 10? I mean, you know? Why stop at a plot of land? Why not just buy a, a family dollar that went out of business? Why not buy a building, a retail? That's what we did. But because that never worked for me. That never made sense for me. Again, guys, I'm not... Most of you guys out there do it. That's great. Do it, man. Do it. You're happy. At the end of the day, are you happy? I wasn't completely happy. I wasn't happy with that notion Buy a little house and then buy a plot of land. Whenever you need money, just sell it. And then voila, you got money. Okay, what about going out there and disturbing the force and going out there and making something crazy and doing what you love, which is create work with your hands and 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 commit and just why not that? Well, because uh, you know, most people will fail at that. I'm willing to give it a shot. That's the only difference between me and somebody else that's not willing. It's just, I just, I was willing to give it a shot. Call me suicidal, call me whatever. I was just willing, man. And I had a wife that was backing me up. She was telling me, you got to quit your job. Yeah, I mean, Bravo needs you 100% every day. And I, I, would, I would run my route as fast as I could. And by three o'clock, I was out and I would go straight to Bravo sometimes even sooner and so i mean i was out there delivering mail and pulling over and talking to clients talking to customers i mean <clears throat> just crazy crazy but um yeah that's what it took and that's that was just me i just it, it didn't feel right for me uh and i just had to do it and so this whole thing where people are telling you what that's why when i hear people say that my son's gonna be a doctor and he's like 10 years old and he doesn't even care because he doesn't even want to play with a stethoscope or whatever. I'm like, what do you mean he wants to be a doctor? He's 10 years old. Like, or my son wants to be this or he's going to be a lawyer because his uncle's a lawyer. Yeah, but what does he want to be? That's what you want him to be. What does he want to be? Let him be what he wants to be. Support him in that. Whatever it is, I want to be a musician. I want to be, I want to be a gunsmith. I like working with guns. Oh yeah, but uh, yeah, they don't make a lot of money. It's not about the money. It's about happiness. Are you happy? I know a lot of, I don't know a lot of doctors, but I know that there's a lot of doctors out there that aren't happy. I know, I know, I don't want to say because then he's gonna know I'm talking. I know people that have good. Uh, 
just career professions that aren't happy, man, because that's what mom and dad told them to do. And guess what? Those kids end up resenting their parents, man. They do. Guys, I'm telling you. You know, your daughter wants to be an artist. She wants to be, let her be an artist, man. School's always going to be there. What? What's this whole, th well, you're 18, 19, you're wasting your time, you're wasting your life. No, you're not, man. 40 is a new 20. That's, that mentality is from the 60s and the 50s and the 40s when people are only living to, living to be 60. 60 was old age. You couldn't even walk anymore. People are living till they're not. Our president is 70 years old, man, and he's running for another term. And if he could, he'd probably run for another term after that. Well, no, because that goes against the Constitution. But you know what I mean? Guys, no, man. School's always going to be there, guys. Education's always going to be there. Education is not for everyone. Higher learning is not for everyone. It's not. And I just say it because I went through it. Everybody was telling me, no, don't quit your job. Dude, people were telling me, don't quit your job. There was guys with post office. You know that most businesses fell, in three, uh, fell within three uh, years. And I'm like, yeah, thanks, man. I appreciate that. And it's true. I guess they do. But guys... Don't try to live vicariously through your children. Don't. Stop it. Stop it, man. My son went to Baylor. Bumper stickers. Like, what? Because you forced them or because you wanted to? Most of the times because you forced them because you wanted that bumper sticker on your car. I'm not picking on Baylor. It could be UT. It could be Harvard. Whatever. I'm just... I'm here from the Valley and I see a bunch of those. That's why I say that. <laughs> Look, school's great. It's great, but it's not for everyone. It's a great place to learn, man. It is, but it's not for everyone.